let's take a quick look at some potential incidents that might occur on a public bus and how to handle them. If someone faints and is unresponsive, lay them down with their legs elevated to improve blood flow to the brain. It's crucial to give the casualty space by keeping others away from them. Once they start feeling better, help them sit down. If they don't recover quickly, call emergency services at 112 immediately. If someone suddenly has a seizure, try to calm other passengers, as it can be scary for them. Let the casualty have the fit and do not hold or restrain them. Remove any dangerous objects around them and make sure nothing is placed in their mouth. If they remain unconscious after the seizure, call emergency services. If someone is bleeding heavily, elevate the affected area first. Lay them down with their legs raised and continuously apply direct pressure to the wound with a thick dressing and bandage the wound. While continuously applying pressure to the wound, call 112. If possible, keep the bleeding area, legs, arms or head, elevated and the casualty lying down with raised legs until the ambulance arrives. This helps direct the blood to the brain, preventing permanent damage. Head injuries should not be taken lightly, especially if there is dizziness, blurred vision or vomiting. These could be signs of a concussion and medical help is needed. The casualty should remain as comfortable as possible until the ambulance arrives. If there's confusion or unconsciousness, it's more serious. Any head wounds should be treated accordingly and a synthetic ice pack should be applied if there's swelling.